Yeah, we did, we did, we did, we did, yeah. I wanted to ask you, uh, the beginning of the season, uh, well, the, when you were two and five, there was definitely a problem with turnovers. But starting with the South Carolina game, we won that game, no turnovers, and there have been only four or five since then. Was there any discussion, was there any emphasis increased on, on not turning the ball over after a certain point, or why do you think you guys have been so good with the ball lately? Uh, I mean, in practice, we always emphasize uh, ball security. So every day we do ball security drills, like running back to DBs, uh, wide receivers, we always do ball security drills. So it's an emphasis almost every game. It's just waiting for it to click. Um, but Coach Pruitt always preaches defense getting turnovers and us not turning over the ball. What was happening early in the season where there were a lot of focus, know. concentration? What do you uh, think? Kind of just how the game went. Um, maybe focus, but I mean, Throughout the weeks, we've been trying to continue and turning over the ball less and creating turnovers on defense. Josh, is your role different Thursday night with, with Juwan being being out for the first half? Is, is there is, is anything different about your preparations because uh, of that? Nah, I mean we got a lot of guys on this on this receiving core that can easily step up. So I mean the game plan doesn't change at all. Uh, Quez and I's jobs don't change at all. We're just gonna do the same things we do every game, really. Has this been a typical install week uh, for Indiana, or have you guys had kind of more time to prepare uh, just with, with kind of the added practices? Uh, we had definitely had a lot more time to prepare with the added practices, obviously, because we only have one game left. But um, uh, just the same game plan that we do every week, um, scouting report and all that stuff, just incorporating it for an extended time of practices. What's been the coaching staff's message to you guys about Jawan being out for the first half? What have they kind of told the receiver group? Nothing. Nothing. Just... Nothing really. I guess that is a lot of production to replace. I mean, is that just more opportunities for, for y'all? Uh, I mean, I wouldn't want to say that, but I, I feel like every time we step on the field, there's an opportunity and plays to be made. So regardless of who's in the spot, someone's going to make the play. What's the toughest part about Indiana's defense? Stands out about that unit too? Uh, the whole team. Uh, as a team, as a defense, from top to bottom, they're a pretty strong team. So we've been preparing for D-line, linebackers, DBs, free safeties, all the same way. What have you guys kind of emphasized this week that you want to do well to, to have some success against their defense? Everything. Starting from run, starting from the run game, blocking, catching. Um, we just want to we just emphasize every part of the game because it balances out the game. So we've just been putting an emphasis on every part of the game. Talk about the, so sorry about that. Talk about the trip today to the Naval Station. Yeah, what was that like? And, and really this week, the bonding experience, yeah. you guys getting to be together down here in Florida. Yeah, it was great, especially the Naval, uh, the ships that we went on. I mean, you see them a lot in movies, but to actually be on one was different. Uh, get to see all the controls, the power stations, the gun stations, the where they uh, control the ship. Uh, it was it was great. It's a lot. Does it make you think about joining now? <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah, I'm good. I'm going to stick to football. <laughs> What was Jeremy's reaction to you guys being late? <laughs> nothing. <laughs> we just stepped on the field like nothing ever happened. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. All right. Thank you.